Yeah, it feels very special. Um, Gareth rang me a couple of weeks ago, floated the idea, and uh, I jumped at the opportunity, I think, to come, come and be part of it. Uh, another major championship. Um, yeah, absolute, as I say, honour and a privilege, and uh, yeah, delighted to be here. Must be a bit of a strange feeling. You've been with England to a European Championship before, of course, eight years ago. You can't play in this one. How does that dynamic work? Yeah, it's different. Um, but I think it's just a different challenge for me, I think come to support the boys, the goalkeepers, the outfielders, um, you know, push them in training, try and offer them a different a different perspective. Um, and support in that manner, of, of course, I'd, lo I'd love to be playing, you know, I'm, I'm you know, a football player that, that uh, wants to play football matches, but it's not that role, it's a different role. Um, but any opportunity to, to come and represent your country in, in some form, um, you know, as I say, it was, it, was a, it was an amazing phone call from me and uh, didn't take me long to say yes. Of course, if any of the goalkeepers get an injury, before England's first game, then you could be playing here. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I think. Look, that's in the rules, but that's not. The, that's not the objective. Here. Uh, you know, they've got three goalkeepers that, that have uh, taken their place on merit, and that's right. So that's how the English squad should be uh, should be made up. Um, so yeah, that, uh, yes, that's in the rules, but that's not the objective from my point of view. The objective is to be part of a, a successful team. How was the atmosphere different? We've talked an awful lot in recent years about the atmosphere that Gareth Southgate has created and we've seen it out there, just how much you guys are enjoying yourself out there in the sunshine here in Yale. How is that different maybe from when you were last in the squad? Yeah, I think, you know, I was, um, I sort of predated Gareth uh, before he was England manager and then, and then, you know, was there for quite a bit of his, his sort of first few years. Um, so I've seen him all the way through really. And I think, you know, he just shifted the culture really. I think he shifted the whole, uh, the whole outlook, the whole feel from the country really. And, 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 you know, even you guys, he sort of brought everyone in together. Um, so that's that's how it's changed, and I think it, what's that? What that's given for the lads is a little bit of freedom to go and perform. Um, I think we've seen that over the last few years. We've gone close. There's been some really good performances. You know, there's a real good feel to the England team at the minute. Um, you know, of course, there's expectation because we've got a good side, but you've got to embrace that. And I think you can see that at the minute. We've got you know fantastic players. Everyone's hungry to be in the shirt, um, and of course, we're, you know, we're going to try and make it successful. How's the training place? Heard it's about as good as it gets. It is, yeah. It's um, it's impressive. You know, um, you know when you're spending a long time in a place, it's nice to have a uh, nice surroundings, um, lots of lots of nice facilities. It is it is top end, um, but no one will get distracted from what what we're here for. Um, you know, there's an objective. Yes, we want that. It's nice to be uh, enjoying it while you do it, of course. Um, but we all know what the main focus is. That's one from me. No excuses. There is, I mean, this is something Gareth Southgate talks about a lot, facilities, preparation, standards being as high as they possibly are, so no excuses about performances not being the best on the pitch. You've been inside the camp now, they've had some injury problems, but is this a team that can win the trophy? Yes, I think so. Um, you know, of course, you say no excuses, that, that's dead right, you know, everyone wants to perform, but at the end of the day it's sport, it's football, um, it's never... It's never straightforward. All you can do is give yourself the absolute uh, best chance of going to deliver um, performances. Good performances give you the better chance of getting the results. That's what we're here to do. Um, so yeah, as I say, everyone's, everyone's enjoying the challenge and going to embrace it. Oh, so say, what, what's the, from Euro 2016 to now, has the mindset changed? Did we perhaps go into that tournament that you were a part of not believing that we could win? Great question, to be honest. I actually spoke to a few of the lads this morning about, you know, that camp was actually really, really good until it wasn't. And, and, and obviously, you, know, you talk about results there. I think that that's what, you know, make, makes or breaks it. Um, you know, there was a good feeling going into 2016. But I think what the difference has been is, you know, we've now got evidence of good performances, um, you know, good sort of finishes in, in big championships. So there's been sort of momentum building. There has been a shift in culture. The lads have embraced it. So. I just think we're closer to being successful than, than then and, and there is some hard evidence to back it up so there's more belief that goes with that. So yeah, I think there is differences, you know, as ever at elite level sport, the margins are fine, um, but I think we're starting to get a lot closer to those to those margins. As someone who has a better, ju uh, better judgment than anyone, what, what is this pool of goalkeepers that are in the squad like in terms of talent? Because sometimes they get underappreciated a bit. Yeah, it's a tough position, goalkeeper. We, we all know it. You know, I've uh, been a pro for a long time. It's, it's a real tough position. England goalkeeper is one of the toughest. Um, and I think you know Jordan, his performance has been absolutely outstanding. Um, Aaron and Dean, obviously, you know Aaron, young goalkeeper, done exceptionally well over the last few years. Um, Dean are the same, obviously. I know them all individually really well, and they all offer something slightly different. So I'm delighted to be working with them. Um, and yeah, I hope I can support in any way. Really.
final one for me. I know you're here in a, as a training goalkeeper, but you obviously still love it every second of it. No sign of you hanging on your gloves in touch. No, nah, definitely not. You know, I. Um, for me, it's all about feel. I still feel, I still feel bang at it. I still feel good. Um, you know, I've had a couple of weeks holiday and, and not done very much. So to come in today and get up to speed. Um, but if I'm honest, I enjoyed it. You know, it was, it, as I say, it was great to be back out there. But cer certainly, no thoughts about that. Why I still feel good. Um, I'll still be chomping a little bit. Cheers. Well done.